Howdy, Dad. How are you doing today? It's Friday morning. Been haven't spent so much time out this week, but uh, been a little bit of time on these rear uh, lighting these cells. So I showed you last time that I managed to pull these, take these off. Just a few spot welds to get that off. Uh, there's this forward, this front panel piece that also is spot welded to this uh, to the side component. And it's pretty pitted and so on, but I think this one will probably be okay to keep. Just got that on there for now. For some reason, there's a very bizarre sort of rust pattern that happens in the bottom here. I don't know if it gets damaged or, and then starts to rust, but yeah, I'm gonna replace that. I've got a, um, a piece here that I've, uh, that I've managed to uh, fabricate that will go in here pretty, pretty smoothly. I'll just, I'll just trim that out and weld that in, and it'll just sort of replace that um, that rusted those rust holes. And then after that, it'll be a matter of just you know, just buttoning this back down, straightening out the flanges, and uh, that will be ready to go back. And then I will uh, clean out these flanges, uh, get all the rust out of those flanges. There's a dent I was having a hard time getting to the back side of before, but uh, right in here. Um, and so now it's actually the back side of that is accessible, so I'll be able to go in and uh, do a little hammer dolly work and get that get that cleaned up. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and uh, weld that back in, make sure everything's all sort of tidied up in the back there, and call that good. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Uh, so anyways, it's... Um, uh, just making a little bit of progress and we'll keep on going and I'll see how far I get by the end of the, the end of the weekend. Talk to you later. Bye. Uh, hi dad. Saturday, I guess lunchtime or so. Spent a little bit of time out here this morning kicking around doing a few things. See I'm sort of coming back towards working on this door frame, starting to try to replace these, these uh, rusted out flanges. You can see I just sort of Tack welded in one in there, and I'll finish that up here in a just a jiffy. And then once that's done, I've got a you know a couple more stretches to do across here. But overall, I think after that, this frame will be mostly done. Uh, and then I'll go back to the skin. The other thing I was been working on are these um, these uh, uh, lighting nacelles. Here's one where I TIG welded earlier. I guess last night I did that. Uh, it came out okay, and so. You can see there's the there's the back side you can see where there was a there was a seam but in the front looks it looks pretty decent i'm gonna do the same on this one it's not quite as bad but i'll basically just cut a piece across here and down and then just fashion this um uh, this this angled piece it won't be too too uh too challenging to do that these are the the um two end pieces that mount on the side of these and the light the light fixture fix uh, bind or uh, mounts inside here. Uh, some of these are in pretty rough shape. This one is not too too bad, but it's easy to, to fabricate a new one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, you know, here's one that I've just sort of cut out, and I now need to uh, use use the drill to uh, to mount a few of those holes. Uh, so then I think that will be ready uh, up here. Things are uh, progressing. I got it all mostly cleaned out and uh, sitting around there. I've been sort of test fitting a few of these pieces in here and that all fits pretty well. So uh, once I've got all my sort of joints done, that I'm, I'll, I'll, I may tack weld them or not. I may just sort of just make sure they fit and then leave them be for now. Uh, the next thing I'll need to do is to come in here and work on this. Uh, these repair pieces, these are all quite perforated and thin, so I'll want to repair at least all the way down to here, uh, and then of course across the back. So I've just started working on starting to fabric or to uh, to shape the cross piece that comes across here. I'll do it in two pieces, one from the middle backwards, and then when I get to the other side, I'll do that part as well. But it's all cleaning out pretty well, uh, and so. Um, uh, I'm pretty happy with how that's going, and so I'm just gonna keep on going, keep on trucking, as they say. Hope you're doing okay. Catch you on the next one. Bye. 
Howdy, Dad. Sunday night, just during, doing an end of week, end of week wrap up. You know, I spent most of my day today working on this door frame. Started to place some of these, uh, these, uh, these uh, rotted out uh, flanges. I did two different strips here. I did this one over here. This one here I did, I just used a TIG or a MIG welder to do that. That worked okay, just fine. Um, it's, I ground down some of those welds. Didn't do much to, uh, to dress them up, but I wanted some practice working on my TIG skills as well. Uh, since I've, that's a little bit more rusty and I had them fitted up just fine and you can just see here I've just sort of ground off just the top of that that um, that bead and so I know I'm pretty sure now that I have got that down enough that I'd be able to take that down to a point where you barely be able to see you know there was still sort of a pitted metal next to to good metal and so you'd be it wouldn't be perfect but uh clearly that's something that um that uh seemed to have gotten a knack back for that so uh, you'll see here i've sort of included some some numbers here for the, the width of that flange in in millimeters so i need to go back now and trim it trim it up to uh to what it needs to be for for the door i was Taking this door here, and I was gonna put it onto the old door stand just to see how well things see how well things fit. And you know, it fits just just fine. It's nice and um, and flat. And uh, there's just a little bit too much too much over here on the on the flange. But I haven't ground that down yet. So when I when I uh, Grind that down; it'll all fit just fine. I'll have to figure out exactly how to, uh, you know, get the bend, bend of that door. And this, the bottom of this door here, really was not, never really sort of went along with the flange. The flange was, was wavy and was quite different in different places. So I don't know how actually you, you, uh, you turn over that door skin so that it actually fits the. the the opening very well so I'll have to figure that out at some point uh, but in any case um, I'm just when I just using this old this this uh, uncut uncut uh, uh, door skin the frame fits nicely and it really, uh, won't have any any issues the next thing I need to do is to uh, sort of replace the bottom part of this door skin that will involve in quite a long weld on a um on a repair piece of sheet metal so that's part of the reason why i wanted to you know get my tig tig skills up and going again and and that will be quite quite a job to do that and also ultimately that will replace sort of this end and then down here is there's some there's some holes in the bottom of course there's sort of you know holy down there uh, and so that replacing that piece there will then make this door skin in sort of perfect shape and we'll be able to just uh, to um, to um, button that up. I made some measurements on the other side. You can't see them about what kind of rise and and uh, uh, you see on here. So, but uh, overall that's, I'm hoping we'll start doing some work on that this week. Now that the frame is, is um, in reasonable shape. And so I will finish the grinding on the flange and then the frame uh, will be will be set and then I'll be worrying about this one. So over here, oh actually one thing I wanted to notice, I picked up a uh, sandblaster gun, just a, um, a spot blaster. Uh, my goal for here would be to uh, use that now to to repair some of these, um, the, some of the sandwich rust in these reasonably reasonable uh, flanges you know for example this one here i can tell there's some mud in there and some rust in there so my plan is just going to be to split you know drill out those spot welds pull that flange back and then uh, blast out the rust and then close it back up with some uh, proper primer and 
uh, button that up. Uh, all this looks okay now. I managed to get all the most of that surface rust is out and it's been dug out of the pores. And next week I'll also start thinking about um, uh, replacing that flange and moving things along. So anyways, that's sort of the progress for the week. Um, a little bit of welding, a little bit of uh, door work, a little bit of, of uh, nacelles. Uh, those are now uh, looking better. I have one more to, to fix up over here. So anyways, we'll just keep on, keep on rolling this week and um, hopefully have um, something, something better for you uh, next time. Take care and um, love you, Dad. Bye.